Hi everyone! It's Monday, December 19th. It's time for Vlogmas Day 19. Hi everyone, I'm Nancy and welcome to my channel. Welcome to Vlogmas number 19. December 19th is a little special to me. It's Rick's birthday. So on since I lost him on the 19th, I celebrate his birthday every year. I bring up what we call the inspiration tree. I make one of his favorite meals. I have his favorite wine and he hated wine. So there's only one wine that he liked. That's the one I make and I have a cupcake or make some kind of cake. I sit back, I watch Jaws because that was the first movie that we saw together. Every now and then if I have extra time, I'll watch Wild Hogs because we love that movie. Tonight I'm making jambalaya. That was one of the favorite things that he had. I've got a cupcake for dessert. For lunch, I brought up my inspiration tree and I decorated its tree with some bicycles. I brought up some nutcrackers that remind me of Rick. And yeah, so it's just a special day and memories to me are so important. I think everybody knows that. So instead of an ugly Christmas outfit today, I've got on my Harley jacket. I've got on, um, well, our high school rings, but I've got his Harley Davidson ring. It's got like engraved with the motor or whatever bike he had with it. I've got on the two fobs on my necklace here, which I have no idea which fob goes to which bike or what the keys go to, but I wear them anyway. They're mine. And I've got on a Holly Davidson shirt and my jacket. I did bring in my goggles. I call them doggles because I could not get the wind in my eyes because they would just water like crazy. So I always wore my doggles and bandana over my hair and we just had so much fun riding but anyway the inspiration tree and we started the inspiration tree um back on my birthday one year um uh, rick uh, you know we'd already had i think he probably had maybe eight heart attacks by then he had already had his a order moved two times he'd have both femoral arteries are uh, plate re rebuilt or replaced and bypasses on both of those and we kind of knew it was getting towards they could not do any more bypasses um so we kind of knew that when one of them went down again it was pretty pretty much it and he had bought um he was you know he still loved to go riding he, he still had his mind then and um he would love to go riding i was working full time out of the house and his friends that were retired or whatever, they would just go out riding all day and go out for lunch and whatever, hang out at one of their favorite bike shops. And he happened to be there one day and someone was trying to sell, I think it was a Road King that had an attached Harley Davidson sidecar. And the dealership said, you know, I don't, we don't have a need for anything like that. It's going to cost us too much to try to separate it and whatever. And Rick said, hmm. You know, I'm going to need one of these someday. How much do you want for it? And the guy wanted like $7,000, which was like, wow. Because it was a pretty much new bike. But, you know, Rick said, you have the title. You know, this is your bike, blah, blah, blah. And the dealership helped check check it out for him, make sure that it was not a stolen bike, that it was actually that guy's bike. So Rick said, wait here, I will go get you the money. So he went home, went to the bank, took out some money, went and bought the bike. So came home from work and he was like all smiles whatever and he's like yeah you know what I bought today and I'm like um you bought me a nutcracker no I didn't buy you a nutcracker uh you bought yourself another leather jacket no I didn't get another ja jacket you bought more bigger tires for your truck no I didn't get that he said I bought a bike for the sidecar you know and I'm like 
okay and of course i'm thinking of the movie wild hogs how when bill macy and i think it was john devolta that maybe he he was riding the bike and it was like a broken down bike with a broken down sidecar and that's what i'm thinking he bought and so he says you know they're checking it out for me at the dealership um they're gonna bring it home for me tomorrow so when it got when it came home i was pleasantly surprised it was like a it was a newer bike road, newer road king it was like a kind of pearlescent white it was really really pretty the sidecar had its own window uh, windshield and it was just really really nice it didn't stay white for long because yeah rick didn't like white bikes but anyway so we went for a ride that weekend and i usually didn't go riding with him he um at that point you know we had his group of friends that he went with i mean they did stir just together a few times they wouldn't go there was a one in iowa that they went to and you know he would just go out riding all the time with, with his friends and um so i didn't really start riding with him till till afterwards when really nobody was wanting to ride with him anymore but um so anyway I went riding with him that day on the bike and of course i was trying to get in the sidecar i had no idea how to get to a sidecar i fell in the sidecar like a turtle on its back i needed help to get out his friends were laughing at me but you know that's okay and he loaned one of his bikes to um a friend that didn't have a bike so he he went with us too and we just went riding and, and it was just so much fun in that sidecar and um yeah so we ended up loving it so a couple of weeks later it was my birthday and um artery went down and got another really bad clot and we knew they were they were taking the leg that weekend on my birthday and um i don't think it really hit me until after the surgery was over and i went up to his room to see him and you could see the outline um with the sheet over it that you could see there was one foot and then nothing on the other side and i think that was when it really hit me what was happening and um you know it was going to be a while before he woke up again i sat with him for a while but i knew he was going to be i knew he was going to be it was going to hit him hard like it hit me even though we knew it was coming and we were kind of prepared for it it still kind of hits you so i had this little like what is it a two-foot tree or something downstairs so i went and i got the tree and i got some lights to put on it and he was collecting all these different motorcycles so i took a bunch of the motorcycles and when he woke up in his hospital room we called it the inspiration tree so i had that tree by his side with the bikes on it and we're like you're gonna ride again don't worry and this is just a little bump in the road you're gonna ride again you're gonna have a blast we're gonna get through this and so anyway whatever he came home and i just kept the tree up i mean it was june right so we, we kept the tree up and i think just looking at the tree he had the trike you know he it wasn't a trike he had the uh sidecar with the bike and he just making plans he didn't want to ride it white anymore he wanted he wanted it he had an ultra limited limited edition or whatever and he wanted that instead of the road king so the harley davidson dealership that he worked with came and they picked it up in the trailer and they were going to convert it all over and put everything on it and that kept him going knowing that when he was ready to ride again he was going to have the bike that he loved the sidecar for me and we were just going to have fun you know and that that worked out really good it's like two years later now it's his birthday and the other legs going down and um so on his birthday because you know he was like a one-upper he always had to one-up me so on his birthday it was like okay yeah to take my other leg now so inspiration tree came out again and by then we were in uh, rochester we were in mayo at uh, the mayo clinic there were his surgeon had um, moved to Texas. Yeah, it was that was heartbreaking. We almost moved to Texas because that was where his our cardiologist and surgeon moved to. But we ended up going to Mayo. They took his leg, and I t took the tree down there. And um, so we had a little Christmas in the hospital. And uh, I don't know. So it's just something that we keep doing. I mean, he still kept on going. You know, with just. Um, we, we couldn't do prosthetics because the prosthetics just kept causing um more clots and infections whatever so he wasn't able to wear prosthetics but he was able to until the dementia really kicked in he was still able to ride so anyway 
long story short, every year on his birthday, I celebrate by having one of his favorite meals. I still put up his inspiration tree. I watch some of our favorite movies. Well, his favorite movies, Jaws. Jaws was, well, that was a homesick movie too when we were homesick in the summer for the Cape, for Cape Cod. We took out Jaws. When we were homesick in the winter, we took out Storm of the Century with Stephen King, even though that was Maine. We still kind of, that was our one of our go-to movies in the winter. And then Wild Hogs, just because it's a fun movie. So I, I light his candle and um, I tried to light it. This is what I got from Hospice. And it just says, may you find peace, comfort, and strength in your memories. And I don't know if that will focus but I burn this every year on our anniversary and his birthday and the day that we lost him. I got a little cupcake today. I just put it on one of my Christmas plates. So I'll have that cupcake after I have the jambalaya. And I got Jaws. This is the one in 4K. So, I mean, we've had, gone through like the VHS ones for the 25th anniversary edition. And then when it came out on DVD, then we got that. Then it went to Blu-ray. And now I got the 4K version. So, looking forward to watching this. Having some jambalaya. Having my cupcake. And, yeah, just relaxing. But anyway, you know, I might as well get into the vlogmas part of this. So... I'm going to blow this candle out because I almost knocked it over. And I'll light it again later. But the coffee that I have for tomorrow morning is Newman's Own. And I do like their coffees as well. It's a nice blend. My Lint Truffle. It's a little mini truffle. I love those by Lint. And the wine that I'm not going to open today is a Merlot. And I've been dying to have another Merlot. But this is uh, from my QVC advent calendar. And it's got the little red truck. And California Merlot. And like I said, he didn't really like wines. But when we went to Wine Haven, when we first moved over to Forest Lake, and we were just kind of looking around the area, one of the places I lost my wine that um, we went to was Wine Haven. And they were just kind of like, they just had a little, like a pole building or something at the time and now it's like a gorgeous gorgeous thing but he fell in love with the honey wine and this is a really sweet wine it's made from honey they have uh, bees there they have their own uh, and they make of course they make honey too but they make some wine made with honey yeah, from the honey bees so I'm going to have that and the glass that I've got it in it's a champagne glass but you know it's like a special day I don't have an outfit to show you, but I'll show you the nutcrackers. So these are the ones. So this is a little biker guy. I think I just got him from t maybe Target one year. It's like the pavement. He's got his helmet. The biker dude. And he was in the Coast Guard. So I've got my little sailor here for the Coast Guard. I think it was close enough, right? It's got a sinker there. He actually was stationed in Florida, and he was, it was back in the day when President, when it was President Nixon, and uh, President Nixon had his estate down in uh, Florida that he would go to, and that was where Rick was stationed. He was on presidential security back then. And then I've got my pride and groom nutcrackers. So this one has his name on it for Richard. And what's mine? It says Nancy. So I got my bride and groom nutcrackers. We got the inspiration tree that I've got different uh, of models of the bikes that he collected through the years on it. And yeah, so anyway, that's my vlogmas. I want to thank you guys for joining me. And it just, it's a special day to me. I appreciate my memories. I appreciate everything that I've got. And I appreciate and love and cherish the time that we spent together. So, yeah, this is a special day of remembering for me. And so, anyway, we will see you. You know, I should probably have some wine while you, while you guys are here, right? Just a twist cap. And my wine is kind of building up on me because I cannot drink it all alone. So, you know, you have a little bit here and there. And again, it's a champagne flute, but it's a special day. Cheers, everyone.
Mm. It's nice and the, the honey meat's kind of got a texture to it. So it's, it's sweet and it's got a heavier texture. So it's just a really nice wine. And I want to thank you guys so much for stopping in, spending time with me. Take care, everyone. Stay safe. Be happy. Be kind. Enjoy life. Have some fun. And we will see you tomorrow when I will be back in my ugly Christmas sweaters for Vlogmas number 20. Love you guys so much. Bye-bye.